Hi guys, this is Tobias, DLC MHT. Uh, thanks for coming back to part two of this video series. I know the first one was a bit long, even with 800% time lapse, it uh, dragged on forever and I even cut out a full hour, which you have not seen. I promise this one will be much shorter, uh, just uh, five minutes or so, uh, testing that the circuit actually works. So let's jump right into it. Okay, and I think I did a major mistake in the last video and uh, I've learned now from Bob that how you properly assemble stuff is like this. Okay, and here we are ready with a basic test setup to check if the circuit is working in principle. Um, let me maybe show you with the overhead camera. So here um, we have a ground and VCC. I connected 9 volt or something close to 9 volt here at the moment. So supply voltage, this here is the output, um, which should go to our uh, moving coil uh, meter. I've terminated it with a 1K resistor and it's connected to channel 2 of my uh, Rigol, uh, which is the blue channel. And the input, um, this is where, well, the original output of your SWR meter is connected here uh, to channel 1 of my Rigol. And I've supplied here a contraption with a resistor and a variable, uh, a fixed resistor and a variable resistor that allows me to give it here between 0 and 800 millivolt on the input. And now we can observe on the scope what happens, uh, input versus output, and do a basic sanity check if our peak hold circuit is working. So let me crouch down here behind the camera. And I'm twiddling the knob now. And as you can see on the Rigol input, um, which is the yellow line, is rising up when I turn this knob. But now the interesting bit is, where is the output? Well, the output is right behind the input. You just can't see it because it 100% follows the input. So this circuit has indeed a gain value of 1. You give it 100 millivolt on the input, it gives you 100 millivolt on the output. Well, you would expect that if it should sit in the middle of the original uh, SWR meter circuit and the moving coil meter. So now when I turn the voltage quickly down, you suddenly see um, the blue line, which is the output popping up behind. And you see it dropping slowly with a delay back to the input voltage. So basically I can nudge it up and then it drops down again. Nudge it up and it drops down with a delay. And this is exactly what we want for our measuring, uh, for measuring our uh, SSB peak envelope power. Um, so you're talking, imagine you're talking here on your SSB radio and the voltage rises up and rises down very quickly, much faster than the moving coil meter could usually display the peak voltage. But now with this circuit in place, it should be possible basically to um, see the peak power. So as far as I can see, the circuit seems to work in principle. Um, we can nudge the voltage up here and the output follows immediately. And when the input voltage drops back to zero, um, well, the output voltage uh, slowly drops down to zero as well. So everything seems to work in principle. And uh, now I have to get over myself to open my nice Revex uh, SWR meter and put the circuit in and hope hoping of not destroying uh, the nice instrument. <laughs> 